Hey guys, this is DJ Mizuhara from Redstone Gamer. So today, uh, I'd like to show you how to link your PlayStation 4 with an uh, iOS device or an Android device. Your Android device needs to be 4.0 and above. Your iOS device needs to be 6.0 and above. Uh, your PlayStation 4 needs to be connected to your home, wet ne home network via Wi-Fi. Um, and your, your devices you can add multiple devices uh, also need to be connected to the same network as your PlayStation 4 so with your PlayStation 4 you need to go to settings then you scroll down to uh, PlayStation app con uh, <laughs> it's listening to me PlayStation app connection settings so it then says add a device okay so here and a device uh, this is my this is my iPad right so uh, you need to download uh, first of all you need to download uh, your application uh, the PlayStation app which is available to download uh, I guess in the US the UK well basically anywhere the PlayStation 4 hit has launched uh, I'm in Japan so yeah we don't have a PlayStation 4 this is a tier 2 country by all accounts uh, yeah so um, yeah, so you need to go to the PlayStation Store, sorry, the iTunes Store, and download the app. So the app should look like this, okay? This is the application. Uh, you basically download it to your I, uh, iOS device, as I said before. It needs to be uh, 6.0 or later. This will work with uh, iPhone, iPad, I, iPod Touch. Um, and it's optimized for iPhone 5 whatever that means I guess uh, retina display I don't know I don't use iPhone anyway so yeah so that's the iPhone so uh, to okay back again so yeah as I said you click on add a device and then it'll give you this uh, 8 digit code so on your on your tablet or your iPad uh, you click on the PlayStation <laughs> it's listening click on this okay click on the PlayStation logo so now it'll boot into the PlayStation app and it'll log in okay so now it's logged in okay so my user profile here so yeah so go to the bottom and it says connect to PlayStation 4 click on it okay so now basically if it doesn't find anything if it doesn't find anything hit the refresh button which is up here so if you hit that but it knows because I've already done this but I'm gonna I'm showing it for you also so yeah so it'll say powered on so click it okay and it'll connect or it'll try to connect to it and once it's established a connection it'll ask for the password code is basically a handshake between your PlayStation 4 and your iPad so input the code okay so code input and then hit send okay so there you go straight away connection uh, with the second screen you can use there's a lot of functionality you can use with the second screen you can use it as a basically a keyboard um, yeah, so at the moment there's no use for it, but if I go to like type messages or something, uh, I can basically type messages on my iPad instead of using the uh, the DualShock 4. So I do that. Uh, so yeah, but I'll actually I'll show you later what to do. Uh, an application that you can use it for. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, it says DJ Muzihara, which is me, and it says connected. So there you go. So that's connected. So you never have to do it again because the handshake has already taken place. So, so fairly simple, right? Okay. So now this is my this is my phone. Okay, uh, it's a bit bright. Okay. So this is my Android phone, and I'm in Japan. And as I said before, the uh, the PlayStation Four isn't launched here. So the application I'm not able to download it from Google Play. Uh, Google Play obviously it's connected to my email address and it knows that I'm in Japan so yeah it doesn't show up on the store um, but 
it should look like this but as you can probably see here it says uh, this app is incompatible with all of your devices because obviously it's not released in Japan so therefore none of the phones that are available over here are actually compatible with it but you can sideload it so if you can I guess if you go to a, a website or something if you don't live in any of the countries uh, that the PlayStation 4 has already been launched in and you download a, uh, download this file you can sideload it so no problems so yeah so this is what it looks like so you can install it uh, via Google and it will install on your phone directly so you can either go to the Google Play Store on your phone or go to the Google Play Store on the internet and install it from there either way just install it anyways so back to this so again there's my icon I'm gonna touch the icon so okay so it's on the internet so it should log in to me there you go it's logged in there's my profile picture at the bottom so again hit hit uh, connect to PlayStation 4 uh, if I hit it properly Okay, so again, there you go. It knows it says the PlayStation 4 is powered on, but I got to connect to it, right? So on the PlayStation 4, again, I have to add device, and it'll give me another code. Okay, so I'm going to click on PlayStation, and it'll try and connect to it. So there you go, connecting, connecting, and again, it asks me for the the eight-digit handshake code. So uh, six six seven five one four and send there you go and it's already established a connection okay so and it also lists the your phone and this is my phone so there you go so these are two uh, two machines I've, I've added to uh, my PlayStation so now what I want to do I've just basically I just disconnected them and I'm gonna reconnect the iPad so I'm gonna come out of here and which was recently uh, updated uh, was the uh, the playroom and it was updated with a very fun I think it's a very fun application especially very fun for my kids where I can or they can they can in interact with the, uh, the little robots uh, not only with the controller or hand movements or kicking them against the screen or whatever but now they can actually now they can actually uh, draw pictures and throw pictures into the screen uh, for the for the robots to play with right so I will really like to show you how you do that okay so there you go there's my room I guess it's not ideal so I need to show okay so now it knows it's here okay so there you go so I'm gonna click on it okay okay there's all my little dudes I'm gonna flick some flick some onto my table okay so Anyways, okay. So yeah, so the, they're all playing, and on my iPad, as we've already established a connection, but it's disconnected. So uh, we're gonna use it as a second screen. So I, I, I guess, yep. You hit that. So there you go. So it's connected again. So now in the playroom, if I draw a picture. Okay. So now it gives you this basically uh, a grid like grid paper and you can draw a picture so I'm just gonna draw a quick picture okay
Okay, so. So, that's a quick picture I drew. Okay, I know it's, uh, it's childlike, but yeah, there you go. So, so that's the picture that's ready. Okay, so now, I don't know if you can see, but there's a, there's a ghostly hand on the screen. It's telling me to push it towards the screen. Okay, so you'll see this now. Okay, hello. So, on my i uh, on my, I guess there's the iPad, and I'm gonna flick this picture. There you go. And they all play with it. And then I, I can actually draw multiple pictures. I uh, actually I can throw them a I can throw them a ball. I can throw them a soccer ball. Or I can draw again. Yeah, so I'm just gonna just cut this out. Okay, so I think I'm done with that. I'm gonna cut it out. Uh, so there's a picture, another picture I drew. So have that, and they can play with it. So it's pretty cool. Everything is kind of interactive. Yeah, so there you go. That's a second screen. Oh, ouch. Yeah, so there you go. So it's pretty cool. Uh, using your tablet as a second screen. Uh, if you wanted to do it on your on your phone, again, just go in, uh, connect to it. It knows again, second screen, and your phone will turn do exactly the same, exactly the same as your iPad. Again, uh, let me draw a quick picture. Okay, so that's done. There you go. There you go. More toys to play with. So yeah. So there you go. So that's basically setting up uh, a system as a second screen. I guess if you wanted to, your Vita. Again, because your Vita has this functionality also. So if you hit the PlayStation link, so PS4 link, hit that, start the application. Okay, application started, then it'll give you a sec the second option, second screen. Hit second screen and obviously being on the same network as the PlayStation 4, it'll detect and it knows that I'm in the Playroom app and again, Boom. Again. Okay, so here you go. I'm gonna flick it in. Here you go. Oh well, yeah. So that's a quick tutorial of how to connect your Vita, your your iPad, or your Android phone, and use them as a second screen on PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, so, okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll bring you another video soon. Uh, if you'd like to, please hit subscribe, um, and let me know in the comments, like, what kind of videos you'd like to see, and I'll 
I'll do my best to do them for you. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Let's go to some of this.